what is meant by danger level at a bridge the normal water level during floods the level at which safety of the bridges gets adversely affected the height of the bridge from the river bed or uh, the historical maximum flood level and the right answer is the level at which safety of the bridges gets adversely affected when the water level uh, reaches the danger level at a bridge traffic shall remain suspended until 3 hours have elapsed water recedes below normal inspection is done and bridge declared safe traffic is allowed with a caution and the right answer is here inspection is done and uh, bridge declared safe who is responsible for fixing the danger level at the bridges chief engineer divisional engineer assistant engineer or inspector of works and the right answer is divisional engineer which factor is not considered while fixing the danger level type of soil recorded of flux color of water highest recorded flood level and here color of water is the right answer in fixing the danger level it is important to uh, ignore uh, river behaviors allow a uh, safety margin considering river characteristics base uh, it only uh, on last year's floods yeah match uh, neighboring bridge levels and the right answer is allow for a safety margin considering uh, river characteristics fixing the danger level at a higher elevation than uh, necessary may prolong bridge life cause unnecessary traffic restrictions increase embankment strength improve drainage and the right answer is cause unnecessary traffic restrictions the danger level is to be minimum uh, of which consideration adequate vertical clearance minimum free board for bank side guard bonds uh, water uh, causing excessive flux and all of the above and the right answer is all of the above for a girder bridge of a span between 12.2 meter and 30.5 meter the minimum water way clearance prescribed is 450 meter 600 meter 750 meter or 1200 meter and here uh, it is 600 meter for girder bridge of a span greater than 61 meter the clearance given below uh, girder shall be 450 meter 600 uh, millimeter 750 millimeter and 1200 millimeter and the right answer is 1200 millimeter for a small arc bridges a span less than 4.0 mm the danger level is generally fixed at crown of the arc bottom of the arc a springing level or two third uh, rise below crown and the right answer is a springing level for large span arc bridges the danger level is generally at top of the crown base of the arc two third rise below the crown or middle of the span for the large span arc bridges it should be two third uh, rise below the crown for box culvert danger level is fixed at for box culvert danger level is fixed at the bottom of the slab and here answer b in pipe culverts the danger level shall be in pipe culverts the danger level shall be top inside of the pipe so here answer b top inside the pipe in case of balancing culvert and bridges the danger level should be in and it should be 50 mm uh, below top of the pier or abutment if floods have crossed the danger level several times without damage the danger level may be and here the danger may be uh, raised after proper review if bridges experience serious threat even below danger level what should be done in case revise the danger level any revision of danger level must be approved by in case any revision of danger level is done it must be approved by the divisional engineer or senior divisional engineer where should or danger level be recorded or danger level should be recorded in the bridge inspection register 
what should be marking a style of the danger level on the bridges the danger level on the bridges is marked red band over the white band dimension of danger level marking the dimension of danger level marking is 5 cm red band on 10 cm white band for a 60 cm length so here option a is the right answer on multiple span bridges danger marks must be on multiple span bridges danger marks must be on the first last and intermediate piers the danger level mark uh, should be visible from which side and it should be visible from the upper stream side when should uh, sounding at a specified bridges be taken during the flood uh, sounding at a specified bridges should be taken during the flood when the blood is at at or about danger level in large alluvial rivers sounding may be taken when flood is at in large alluvial rivers sounding may be taken when flood is at two third of the maximum flood rise what equipment should be used for taking sounding uh, during floods the equipment that is used is log line with lead or like rail pieces or eco sounder if sounding shows a score below safe a square depth what action is required in case of such cases dumping of boulder and stopping the traffic what device is recommended for continuous monitoring of the score and it should be continuous score monitoring device after monsoon river cross section should be taken after monsoon river cross section should be taken clear of piers and abutment a score holes uh, should be surveyed a score holes survey uh, should be submitted uh, surveyed immediately after the monsoon a river courses uh, survey should be done up to what distance up a stream and down a stream normally so it should be done uh, 3 km up a stream and 1 km in the down stream cross section of guide bend must be taken at an interval of it should be taken at an interval of 50 m and 30 m for river bed with chronic uh, chronic uh, aggradation or uh, mindering which advanced technology is recommended so uh, so uh, for a river bed for uh, chronic aggradation or mindering uh, 3d river bed scanning technology is recommended that is option b after the rainy season what action must divisional or assistant engineer should take and uh, uh, the option conduct inspection and repair damage before the next flood who maintains the river and flood register in and it is maintained by the assistant engineer the river and flood register must be updated to cover a period of and it should have the 10 to 15 years which documents uh, should be attached with the river and flood register it should be attached with the cross section diagram flood records and survey plans in case of flood damage report must be sent to the chief engineer within in case of flood damage report must be sent to the chief engineer within 3 days of the occurring what must accompany the flood damage report beside uh, pro forma details so here uh, consolidate descriptive report and action proposed daily rainfall reading must be recorded at and it should be recorded at every gauge station at 8 am when rainfall of 75 mm or more is recorded who should the person inform and uh, the person is assistant engineer or divisional engineer which type of rain gauge is preferred for the accuracy and uh, it should be self recording rain gauge 
वेयर शुड एनिमोमीटर बी इंस्टॉल्ड एनिमोमीटर बी इंस्टॉल ऑन द ब्रिजेज एक्सपीरियंस हाई विंड्स एंड व्हीकल्स कैप्साइजिंग रिस्क वॉट इज द मैक्सिमम परमिसेबल विंड वेलोसिटी स्पेसिफाइड बाय द चीफ इंजीनियर फॉर द ब्रिज ट्रैफिक द मैक्सिमम परमिसेबल विंड वेलोसिटी स्पेसिफाइड बाय द चीफ इंजीनियर फॉर द ब्रिज ट्रैफिक इज सेवेंटी टू के एम पी एच वेन विंड एक्सीड्स लिमिटिंग वेलोसिटी स्टेशन मास्टर मस्ट डू एंड ही मस्ट कंट्रोल और स्टॉप द ट्रैफिक सो नाउ बी हैव कंप्लीटेड सम इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन of the chapter 7 of the indian railway bridge manual which will help you in uh, upcoming examination thank you